Hi everybody, I left off of left off by saying that the narcissist is looking to have you um reference them because that's the way that they create a hold on you a hold on your soul so even if you create an oppositional identity to them and don't want to be like them you still have to re you still have to reference them in order to be yourself so we don't want to do that we want to create our own identity that's independent of them independent of other people and the only way to do that is to understand what you like you know it's like a lot of people that are um, related to narcissists they overcompensate they become excessively nice excessively giving excessively um, unmaterialistic because they just don't want to be like their narcissistic parent but what you don't understand is that money is not the problem um, you know your doing well in life or, or looking good or or trying to be physically presentable is not the problem the problem is defining your soul um, and what your soul loves. So many children of narcissists, for example, because their parent was a somatic narcissist, they will purposely not want to dress up well because the narcissist puts so much stock in their physical appearance <laughs> so much stock in their physical appearance that they sort of um, neglected other facets of their life so the child of a narcissist will, will try to be the opposite of that and walk around uh, dirty <laughs> or or not well dressed, or dressed in things that are, uh, you know, not 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 putting all of their energy into looking good, looking presentable for people, because it's triggering, because it reminds you, it makes you feel as though you're um, like the narcissist. But what you have to understand is, you will never be like the narcissist if you're watching this video. Um, because narcissism is a soul disease. It's an addiction to anger. It's an addiction to pain. It's, it's an addiction to bitterness. And, in fact, not being the best self that you can be is going to get you closer to being a narcissist. Because at the root of narcissism is, is, is bitterness, is a constant, um, you know, unhappiness with the self and if you destroy your life if you by by trying to prove a point to other people that you're not like the narcissist that that you value other things and this is very common in in children of narcissists is that they create an oppositional self identity because they're so sick of the fixation that their narcissist had on sex, on materialism, on um, robbery of people, that they feel that they need to do the opposite in order to feel sane, in order to feel whole, in order to feel like they've redeemed the past. And uh, I'm telling you that that's a mistake, because money is, is, is not the problem. Um, how you look is not the problem. The problem is that you don't believe that you are not them. Um, the problem is that you don't believe that, uh, 
that you are just, morally just, because if you dress well, if you have lots of money, um, what you do with that money and, uh, and what you do with the physical appearance that you have can differ from what the narcissist did. So if you are making uh, six figures and if you're donating to charity and if you're donating to animal rights groups and if you're, you know, um, sending money to your relatives in a third world country, if you're um, investing in your child's education, um, if you're investing in... in in something meaningful for the community. If you're giving your five dollars to the homeless person down the street, you see how it's not money that is the issue, it is the actual substance of a person's character that is really unknowable to anybody but yourself. The only person that truly knows who you are as a person is yourself. And many times this overcompensation uh, this need to prove that you are a good person when you've been raised by a narcissist, it actually gets to bite you in the ass a lot of the time. Because you're not under any obligation to make people feel that you are a good person if they're not willing to be good to you, um, if they are not decent to you. And... That's my advice. It's like, if you've been through this, chances are that you are an exceptionally decent human being. And, and really, the only problem that you have is that you're not willing to protect yourself, for whatever reason. So it's not an issue of, of trying to prove that you are not the narcissist. It's an issue of trying to love yourself. And to respect yourself enough to not be beholden to the wrong people. And the big, and, and, and a lot of the times people that end up in sociopathic relationships, they tend to pe be the sorts of people that give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, if you are, um, the sort of person that is easily forgiving, that will not, um, put their foot down at the correct juncture. That is the, the main lesson that you had to learn from this, is that you are not beholden to people that, are, that don't feel a debt towards you, that don't feel that they want you to be happy, that they don't want you to be successful. You have absolutely no um, debt to them and you have absolutely no um, reason to, to keep giving to these sorts of people. And, that, and that's the main issue. Like, your soul is for you to know. Nobody knows your soul. Nobody knows your journey. Nobody knows why you came here. Nobody knows the true, true, you know, instincts within your heart better than you and through a lot of introspective analysis I'm sure all of you will come to the conclusion that more often than not you've been good to people you've done good in the world okay so you need to defend that goodness that 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 image of yourself that you have because it's there if you if you went through narcissistic abuse, if you've met the devil incarnate, and if you have um, stood up for people that have been um, castigated by the narcissist, then you're a fucking good person, okay? And and there is nobody in this world that has a right to to, to take away the credit that you deserve. <laughs> the, the positive karma that you've built throughout your life. You know, it, it's bullshit. 
And it's not about money, it's not about appearance. You could be the most attractive person in the world, the most well-dressed person in the world. You can be the richest person in the world, and you could still have a heart. You know, the essence of narcissism is a lack of heart, combined with ostentation. And a lot of us fear earning a lot of money. A lot of us fear looking good. A lot of us fear resembling the narcissist on the exterior. And that is a really, really incorrect way of going about this. Part of it is fearing the narcissist's reaction when you do succeed in life. Because they fear that the most. They fear their absolutely terrified of their former victims becoming rich or becoming beautiful or or marrying or succeeding professionally or doing anything every time you do something for yourself or for your community um every time you you do something positive the narcissist is dying you know, the narcissist is dying a little bit because they want you to be depressed. They want you to be sitting there and sabotaging yourself and thinking about them and thinking about how um, you may be resembling them in certain facets. You know, that's that's what they live for. And and when they, when you start succeeding in life, when you start going in a different direction... They're going to be sitting there and thinking of rationalizations and delusions that they can muster within themselves to protect their false ego, their false self. There's nothing you could do about a person being delusional. Try, try to think of yourself in an insane asylum trying to reason with a schizophrenic. It's like, eventually you're going to go insane because there is no reason there. There's no rationale, rational basis for a discussion with a person that's mentally insane, that is completely fixated on perpetuating the delusion that you are less than them, you know. And so, children of narcissists, I really want you to think about what you like in life. What is it that brought you joy in childhood? What is it that the narcissist thwarted? Um, and it could be anything. What is it that you were attracted to and now you want to develop in, your, in later stages of your life? These are very important questions. These are the, the, the curing your codependency, curing your preoccupation with what other people are thinking about you or what other people are saying or what people other people would like you to do is your main should be your main objective if you're exiting uh uh an antisocial relationship and your support system has to contain people that are just categorically opposed to telling you what to do it has to be that way there's no other there's no other option for you. You cannot afford to let people into your life that are going to question your aspirations. And I'm, I'm, I'm lean on me if you have to. I really want people to have a support system. Part of it is is getting support through this community, but there you need to also get a support system in your regular life. You need to surround yourself with people that are not talking about sociopathy and probably don't even know what it is, <laughs> because it's a paradox that the further away you get from this topic and the further away you get from them, the more able you are the more the less incapacitated you are because you're not triggered by the memory of them and what they did you know they sucked all of the energy and enthusiasm you had for life by continually thwarting every single initiative that you started and you need to find a clear path 
psycho just on a mental level, a clear path without any kind of disturbances, and, and you owe it to yourself to do that.